Hello. Um, I want to do an update on one of my videos that I did. The um, last update I did was in 2018 about my mental health, and um, I want to do an update on it now. Um, you can see the title of the video, and um, I'm still alive. Thank God. And um, they have increased my medicine since then. I'm on um, thing I can't remember the milligrams for the Prozac, but the Rohypsodone. I'm on four milligrams for that. So. They increased it, and I ha haven't been taking my Prozac like I should, because when I take it, I can't write, and I love to write, so I stopped taking it, and I should be taking it. I keep saying I want to start back taking it, because I still get the suicidal thoughts and feelings again and it's like it's getting worse so i need to be back on my medicine but um so i don't i haven't harmed myself in any way i've been keeping busy but um You know, you don't want to tell people what's going on with you because they won't, they'll want to give you how they feel. You know, they don't want to tell you, you know, what you should hear, but their life experience and what they're going through or their thoughts on it. And they don't want to let you finish talking. Or they make it about them. So it's hard to. Reach out for help. When. You feel like that person or. Not that person or that situation. They say what I'm trying to say. You just feel like they're not going to understand. And. Mental health is real. People think it's not. I deal with it every day. I push myself every day. And when I wake up the next morning, I'm happy that I made it alive. That I didn't give in to my thoughts or impulses on to harm myself. And... I want to reach out to family, but I don't think they would understand because they've never been through it. They would want to give me scripture, and I don't think that that's what I need. You know, I don't need to throw the Bible at me. Instead, of just ask me how I feel or how I'm doing, or ask me what can you do the help. Um, if I'm making any sense. Because I deal with depression. I'm dealing with anxiety. And. It's like I haven't posted since. 2018. Because I. I thought the medicine would help. It did help because they increased it. But then it made me into a zombie. And that's not, you know, my mom and brothers and them are saying, oh, we got, you know, the old Deanna back. That's because the old Deanna's not on medication and, and, 
They don't understand I'm dealing with my own demons now. Because I'm not on the medication. And it's been a lot going on since I last did a video. I've been in the hospital for a respiratory failure. My lungs are bad. My heart is bad. My kidney is bad. I'm on a walker and on oxygen. I'm supposed to be on my oxygen right now. I just forgot to turn it on. I'm on oxygen 24-7. Like I said, I'm supposed to be on it right now. I just forgot to turn it on. I'm going to turn it on after I get up this video. But, um, yeah. And people don't care to ask if you're okay. It's a lot to deal with. And I have one friend. Her name is Kimberly. And I can't put my burden on her. You know, and you feel like you're dealing with this alone. It's just, mm, started school. Maybe that will help me. I'm hoping. To help me. I'm, I plan on sticking with this. Just be out there listening. Even if you're the only person who views this, just send me positive vibes. Because nothing's changed from 2018 to 2022. They increased the medicine, but I stopped taking it. Now I'm back to hoping that I don't kill myself. I won't keep y'all long. This video's long enough. Video's longer than what I wanted it to be. But anyway, y'all be easy.